Lovely. Well, let's just pretend they stood there then, shall we? Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. Now we have a safe place well, that's for you to strike back idea. at the White Mantle. Today, the tides have been turned. Come on. The old Druid Temple should be just over the waterfall. It's time to take a look at our new home. Yeah, sorry about that. My bad. A new chapter now lies open for Tyria. The page has been turned, and the conflict begins in earnest. All is as I have foreseen. Who said that, I wonder? Wasn't that the same voice that was speaking when we left pre-searing Ascalons all that time ago? Henge of Denravi. This is... In every region in this game, you get an outpost that looks like this. I always called them the capital city, but they're technically towns. Um, and usually the town of every region is always a really busy outpost. They're usually big outposts with lots to do, and they're really busy, and they're just cool places to go to. And they've got all, you know, they've got material traders and all that kind of stuff. But this town has got, like, one quest in it and nothing else. And for that reason, it's one of the largest outposts in the game, but with barely any uh, real players ever come into it. Which is quite sad, I think, because it's a very cool place. It's, you know, there's so much to do. Up there, there, there used to be an arena for PvP up there, but now it's all been blocked off. And there's this giant tree thing here that players do to create events, like, once a year. One of them's called MantleCon, and that was here this year. And it was really, really fun. There were just hundreds of people here. It was amazing. And, like, the developers logged on and started talking to people. But, um... Yeah, the only reason people ever come here is for like cartography and stuff, which kind of sucks. But uh, I hope I'm not lost. I think I've got to go this way. So we're at the Henge. All we need to know as far as the story is concerned is that now we've got a nice safe place. No white mantle can get to us here. Um, and we should be cool. Oh, sorry, I said one quest, but it looks like there's two. Huh. Which one? The skill trader? I can't... You honor me. I am Master Scout Kira. I caution you to take care while you're in Den Ravi. I will be watching you. Oh, that's weird. I've never spoke to her like that. Okay, so you're Welcome, the skill person. Friend. Oh, tell me more about the Shining Blade. We seek to throw off the tyranny of the white, murderous white mantle. We are here because we believe in backing our beliefs with action. What more do you need to know? If you want speeches, you can listen to the white mantle weave pretty little lies all day. Okay. How can I help? Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Avinia has ordered a raid into white mantle territory. If you are strong enough to help us, you should go to the river docks to, to the southeast corner of the Tangle Route and talk to the fairy captain. Interesting. She sells a lot of skills. Oh yeah, speaking of which, uh, I'm going to drop that skill and I'm going to start using signets of capture again I don't see why not okay um, this would have been a nice I'm going to check what rating their armor has see uh, there's this weird temptation in my mind to find stuff to do here and stay here for a while because towns are always places where there's a lot to do but there's nothing there really is nothing it's, it's a real shame uh... Why am I talking to that person? I want to speak this person. Okay, this yeah, even this armor only has 65, so what we've got is much better. He offers some new stuff though. This one's called a Tyrian helm. There's also a collector here who sells a bow with a really cool name. It's called an Ascalon bow. It's just this random Ascalonian person. It's not statistically it's not a very good bow, but it's quite cool. Uh, yeah, that's something we can do. Let's. So we've had uh, a backpack, a belt pouch, and a bag, and two bags. Sorry, for ages. Let's ex expand our inventory again, shall we? We can go to this merchant. We've saved up quite a bit of money. We've got almost 7k, and he'll sell us a small equipment pack, which is like another belt pouch. You see, which we can equip here. There you go. 
So uh, we'll put the identification kit in it. Oh no, you can, uh, in the equipment pack, sorry, you can only put equipment in it. So, oh that's actually stupid then. Oh, I, I know what we can put in it, hold on. Yeah, we can put in this uh, water staff uh, and the sword, if you remember. Oh, we can put in that bow as well. Oh, I just thought, I sold the bow again! Why did I sell the bow? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, whatever, there you go. Okay, so now we've got a lot of storage. We can get even more later, but we'll see. Uh, let's speak to Shadow. That's a cool fountain. It's amazing how a place like this is so big and yet it can be hidden. I'm just going to assume that uh, it's magical protection or something like that. Even here where the druids must have gone to hide or whatever. It's all gone. They're all they've all left. All of them are now just spirits. Welcome, friend. Contained in this message are your orders from Avinia. Avinia is the uh, Shining Blade leader, in case you didn't work out yet. Take it to Derek Deathblade in Riz Riverside Province. Riverside Province. Oh, right, okay. It is the of utmost importance that you shield it from all eyes, especially those of the white mantle. If they learn of our plans, all is lost. Well, I guess they really trust us then, don't they? Considering we were white mantle not a couple of days ago. Show the seal to o old Jones in the river, in the river guide in Tangle Root. Oh, sorry, he is the river guide in Tangle Root. Speak to him of his son who was killed by the White Mantle and give him my name. He'll take you as far as he can. Follow Carlotta. She's my spider. She knows the way. You can trust me. Where's Carlotta? I know Carlotta's usually around here. I was looking at her the other day. Oh, I can't find her. Oh well, it's just this type of spider. It's uh, a spider that rangers can get as pets, but it's like really rare. You've got to train it from an egg if you want it as a pet. Okay, so let's go the exit. Tangle Root, this is the next um, explorable area that we need to go to. <coughs> uh, actually, before we do the next quest, there is what you know that there's been hidden outposts like Ice Tooth Cave and oh there's Carlotta there she is marking web oh this is like the quest when we were going through the cave we're following an animal and picking up uh, like little webs marking the way ah oh, what was I saying yeah you know there's like outposts like the Ice Tooth Cave and uh, Beetle Tun and the Temple back in Ascalon like hidden little outposts there's one here, and like I already said, this town is mostly devoid of humans at the best of times. Which means that um, any outpost around here, people barely ever go to. If you look at the at the map, our quest takes us to there. And once we go there, we never have to come back to the Henge of Denravi, that's it. So, there's a hidden outpost just about here. And as a result of all that, it is literally the least populated place on the entire game. You'll be lucky to ever find someone there, ever unless they're just sort of standing around reveling in the fact that they're the only one that's there. Uh, there's nothing to do there, there's just a, a skill person, but I figure since we've already been to every outpost so far, except for one in pre-steering, which I missed, um, we can take a little detour and go there. It's not far. There's all trolls around here. I figured out that the trolls seem to only appear in the green areas. You never find any trolls where it's deserty. Ever. So I guess they just like the more luscious areas. Ooh, very pretty waterfall over there. I hope I'm going the right way. I feel like I'm lost. There's a boss down there as well. Phallus the fish finder. Um, he looks like a um, an elementalist, so he's not going to help us. I have gone the wrong way, haven't I? This is a dead end. This is nothing but a huge dead end and a huge waste of time, fuck's sake or can I go past? can I go past? or around here? no, I'll pause it while I run back okay, so instead of taking a left and going past that druid house I'm going to take a right this time and we'll follow the path up like that and curl around to down hopefully that should take us the right way I won't speak, you guys can just enjoy the scenery as the world flies by.
just here, if we were to go up that path there, um, if you remember the dry top, that takes us out to the other end of dry top. And that's how, we, again, uh, you would walk there. It's like the Mam Noon Lagoon up here. It's how you'd get there if you weren't doing the main quest. And they weren't sort of teleporting you around all over the place. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, well that was stupid, I just went in a big circle. Well, not a big circle, but a circle. Ah, so you see, now we're above the, uh, the waterfall where that fish finder guy was. He's not here anymore. Now we're above the waterfall. It's deceiving, isn't it? Because you'd think, because the map doesn't show the elevations of paths, you'd think you could just walk onto the river and then come along. It doesn't work that way. Alright, so here's the uh, Maguma Stade. There's another collector there, but we've already got all the armor, so I'll ignore her. Julie Blackvine. We'll grab this chest as well. Maguma chest, use keys. Ah, we only got staff. What use is a crappy staff? I'll tell you what use is. It's no use. None. Okay, so this is the smallest, well, not smallest, but most hidden outpost. If we see anyone, I might faint. Yeah, see, nobody's here. <laughs> and this is in one of the most popular district as well. And no one's here. You can get some skills here. I think uh, if you play, if it, if it's your first time playing through the game, I think here you can get some unique skills. But once you play through the game, all the skill traders uh, unlock like loads of other skills. So for me, I don't get to enjoy that joy. I, it won't happen. But if you're playing through and you've just seen this, I I would encourage you to go to the Maguma State because you can get some other skills here. Um, collector, do I do we need the merchant? Yeah, I'll speak to the merchant. Merchant. Uh, sell the ingots. Oh, I'm lagging. Am I lagging? Oh, no, I'm not. Maul. Shield. Yeah, let's sell the secret orders from Avinia to a random merchant. The orders that aren't meant to fall into anyone else's hands. Alright, okay, uh, let's read the description and go. Far from any human civilizations, Maguma Stade is thought to have been a meeting place for the druids who long inhabited this part of the jungle. The elements and grasping vines have all but erased ev evidence that anyone was ever here. Of course, except for those stone steps just down there. Oh wow, there's a person here. I know I said I'd faint, but I'm not going <laughs> to. Oh well. Ah, see, look, she's mapping places out. She's got her cartographer title displayed. Alright, let's go back to the Henge of Denravi. The Henge of Denravi was once a sacred meeting place for the druids of the Maguma. It fell into disuse after the druids mysteriously disappeared more than a decade ago. The only way to enter the Henge is to be granted access through the Henge Gate, and only those who have already been to Denravi can find their way back. Ah, so that's how it's hidden. It is secret magic. Okay, now we can follow Carlotta. Is back here. Du, 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 du. 